friends, it's Anne here with Chronically Home and DIY, where we're crafting our best life. And today we are gonna be making one of those really amazing ornament bulb wreaths. Now, I started the project using just like one single hoop where I was gonna just slide them all onto the hoop, but I didn't like the way that was going because it didn't have a flat back and half of the bulbs were facing backwards, so I just didn't like that. So what I did was grabbed a wreath form from Dollar Tree and this is the 18 inch wreath form. They sell 18 and 14 inch. You can't always find the 18s, but this would work on a smaller one too. And actually, no, this is a 14 inch. Either way. And then I took some of this extra wide sparkly red burlap ribbon that I got at Dollar General for $2 and I just coated the whole wreath with that. Uh, one, so that if there were any holes, you could see red and not the wire wreath form. And two, uh, it gave me more surface area to glue down the bulbs and a really good surface for the glue to adhere to. All of the bulbs that I have, you could get at the Dollar Tree, but I did get a package of 100 bulbs from Michaels for $14.99 but some of these are also from Dollar Tree. You get them, you could get them all from Dollar Tree and it would be roughly the same price. So basically, I just started with my biggest bulbs and the ones that had the cool designs on them and I just started sticking them down in the places where I thought they would look cool. And the important part is to stick them so that the little bulb hanger part is pointing down because we're gonna put all of the bulbs sort of upside down on this wreath and eventually we'll be covering all of those areas. So I sort of did a pattern, but sort of didn't. It is completely up to you. It's hard to get something to look completely random without actually making a pattern. Any crafter knows that. So I, I, I did a, a loose pattern here. I found it a little easier to put the glue in the beginning stages onto the wreath and then stick the bulb to it. And then sometimes I stuck the glue onto the bulb and put it down just depending. Now once I got my big ones down, I started with some medium-sized bulbs and just started filling in that main ring. This is a project that did take some time because you're just constantly building and building and building on. And having a wide array of different colors and finishes and shades, I mean obviously this is just green and white and red, but having a bunch of different shades and finishes of those colors really helped it to bring more interest to the project. So you can see sometimes I'm pointing the bulbs sort of up and sometimes the bulb hanger thingies down. It just really depended on where I was putting them. And then at this point I've also, also started adding the small ones because you're going to start to get these gaps where only a little small bulb will fit. As I was doing this, I kept thinking there's no way I'm ever gonna cover this whole thing, and I really wasn't sure if it was gonna work out or just be a, just a five minute craft fail, but give it time, don't worry. The key is to have a lot of bulbs at your disposal. I think I ended up using at least 50, probably a little more than that. I did not use the full 100 that I had purchased from Michaels, and I had several on hand from Dollar Tree that I put into the mix as well, and so I did have some bulbs left, but I used at least 50, maybe more. You can see a little bit closer up, um, there are a lot of spots now where you can't see the burlap, but that you can see the little hanger things. That's okay, we're gonna fill those in as we go. So at this point, I'm just looking around and anytime I see a hole or a hanger showing, I'm just trying to find the right bulb that will fit into that area. It's okay that they're kind of sticking off into the center here and that they stick off outside of the edge. That is okay. We're going to fill that in. Working on a flat surface like this, though, is important if you want your wreath to lie flat against the door or the wall that you're going to hang it on because this really gives you an idea of how it's going to lay wherever you're going to hang it which again is why I decided to glue them all on instead of stringing them all onto one long piece. Once you've covered up all the burlap, the sort of final step is that you're just going along and taking your smallest bulbs and just sticking them into all of the holes where you can still see hangers or still see little bits of the burlap ribbon. 
just keep on going and then as you're doing this you want to look around and make sure you don't have too much build up on one side and then it looks too skinny on the other so as you are adding you want to look around and make sure you're evenly adding bulbs all the way around your wreath along the outside and the inside and sticking up in the middle Like I said, this project did take quite a bit of time, at least an hour, maybe a little bit more. And then in the final step, I'm finding that I still have small holes that needed filled in, but I didn't have small enough bulbs to fill those baby holes. But I did have these Jingle Bells from Dollar Tree available, and they have these in gold and silver and red and green and um, it's a cool option to use and I actually I was gonna go to Dollar Tree and get tiny bulbs but I'm really glad I used these bells because I love the way that it turned out so I'm just as I'm going through I'm noticing more places where there's holes where I want to fill in bulbs and I ended up using a mixture of the silver and the red jingle ball bells and the cool thing about that is whenever I open the door the bells ring which is nice they jingle Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. You can see just the more I look at it, the more I see holes and places that I want to fill in. And it just, it's a project that continues to change and grow as you're doing it. But I am in love with how this turned out. I'm so happy with it. And at the very, very end, I went around and added these teeny tiny little jingle bells for any little teeny tiny holes that I found. For the hanger, I didn't want to hang this on a hook. It needed its own hanger because you would be disrupting the bulbs if you tried to hang it. So I just took some green floral wire and ran it through the back of the wire wreath frame. And made a loop and then I'm just hanging that loop. I considered putting a ribbon on this wreath and hanging it from a ribbon but after putting the ribbon on I just decided I loved how it looked just like this so much that I did not want to add the ribbon it just would take away from the beauty of the, the Christmas bulbs and the bells. It, it was enough. It was plenty flashy enough without any extra embellishments, ribbon, greenery, anything like that. I just doubled up that wire because it is kind of a heavy piece once you finish it. Make sure you twist your ends really good so it doesn't come undone and slip and then you've got bulbs everywhere when it falls and hits the ground. Now, I made this about a month ago from doing this voiceover and it's been outside on my front door the entire time. I have not lost a single bulb. I was afraid that maybe I might with the cold, but it's been great. And here is the finished product. Oh, I love it so much. I hope that you do too and that you are able to make something just as beautiful for this holiday season. You could do this in any color, any style, any size. It's just really fun. Your kids could help with it. It's been a wonderful project that I have loved looking at every day. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for going on this adventure with me. Keep coming back and keep crafting your best life. Bye.